Welcome to the laser room. Today is a laser day for us here in our shop. We have an order of like 150 something of these tumblers that we have to do. My wife has already went through and opened up several of these tumblers and went ahead and taken the lids off of them just to make it easier for me to do this in here when I get to the laser. This is our laser room. We have full of Thunder laser machines. This machine here is our Nova 35. It has an 80 watt laser tube in it. This is what we'll be using to engrave all of those tumblers, but we also have a thunder bolt that is back over here behind me, which we absolutely love and it works great. We also have an Aurora 8 fiber laser, so we have this one in here as well. But today we're gonna to use our Rotoboss rotary in our Nova 35 to engrave these tumblers. Now we have engraved thousands of tumblers with this rotary and it has worked great. We have no complaints at all. So let's get it loaded. So when we get it in here, one of the first things I do is go ahead and plug this up. It has this type of little cable on it and there's a place over here in the far corner for you to plug it in. Just make sure that the little arrow with the hole is pointed up. It slides right in, no problem. Next, we have to lower our bed because this is just too high. So we're just gonna take the button over here and lower the bed down now. The next thing I do here after I have the bed lowered is I'm gonna move this gantry arm and I just kinda of look straight down from the top, move my gantry arm down to where it's over this little arm here on the rotary and I just look down and try to make sure that I have it at a, you know, a 90 degree angle perpendicular here to this gantry arm. I know it's kinda of tough to really tell this on the camera but this is how I make sure that we have the rotary in there straight. Once I get the rotary in there straight where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and move my arm out of the way. And now I can go ahead and load the tumbler. So I'm stick it in here like this. It just so happens that this is the right adjustment for it now, but you can adjust it in and out, um, whichever you know, will fit your tumbler that you have in there. For us, this is just right. Next, I grab one of these small little levels and put it right on top of this tumbler. I can look at that and see that it is level. If I needed to do something, you can adjust this and it will raise, tilt this, as you can see it moving now. But we're just gonna go ahead and keep it level. So we're good there. The last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna focus on this. So I have these little focus blocks. This is a little 3D printed six millimeter block, which works great for us. I gotta go ahead and lower my bed just a little bit more now so I don't hit on the head of the laser there. I go right to the center of the cup and then I'm going to use this to focus with. Now I'm gonna raise my bed up where it's pretty close. I still have movement here and then I loosen this little nut and go ahead and drop it down. That way it focuses just like that. And now I move my block. I have put my laser head, the little dot right here on the ring on the center of this cup and that is where I have my origin set. This is the file that we have. This is artwork provided by a customer. You can see we have it turned on its side and then you see this little dot here. This is where I have my job origin. And if we look over here at the computer screen, you can see where it says job origin on this middle left here. Um, so that is where we want to start this. As far as the settings for these tumblers here, again, this is for our 80 watt laser but we're doing this at 400 speed, 35% power, and we have the air turned off. Next, we just click on send to go ahead and send this to the laser, and we give it the name East Park there, tell it okay, and we should be good to go. We have the file on the controller, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit frame, and we just watch it frame, that way we'll know right where their logo is gonna be. Next, we just close the lid and hit start. And just like that, it starts engraving. While this is engraving, go ahead and let me know in the comments what you would like to see engraved here on this channel. This engraving took two minutes and six seconds to complete. So now let me remove it out of here and I'm gonna show you something. So as you can see, it looks pretty good except it has a lot of blue tint on it. You just really can't quite get it all completely off, but let me show you a trick. We use this Dawn Power Wash. It works tremendously well. All you have to do is spray a little bit on it. So then I just take it and wipe it clean. No real scrubbing, no harsh chemicals or anything. 
just the Dawn Power Wash, which is very easy just to rinse off if you need to do that. But it looks great. It doesn't leave any residue. So yeah, that's how we clean these up. Now all I have to do is load another one and start this process over again and do that about 150 times. Now, unfortunately I didn't get all of these tumblers finished right now. I'm gonna spend a few hours doing that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.